being a PC gamer has always been a lot of fun. It's always been something where you're the guys who really want the most leading edge technology. And honestly, the entire PC gaming industry is just getting crazier and crazier and crazier. And PC gaming is getting more and more popular. And even though people can't really buy video cards, upgrading other stuff has been great. Plus, there's a lot of blame going around about different type of things and a lot of conspiracy theories. So in today's video, we're just gonna talk about some of the crazy shit just going on in the entire PC industry and kind of what it's like to be a PC gamer right now. So let's talk tech. All right, tech fans, so today's video is actually brought to you guys in part by the Hugo Log. Now, what's the Hugo Log? Well, it's a totally touch screen, which is right here in my hand, smart deadbolt. So this thing comes in a little box and everything that you need to get up and going with this particular product actually comes inside the box. And what it does is it replaces the deadbolt that you have in your house now. And it should fit in pretty much anybody's door unless you've got some door that's just extraordinarily thick and the plate won't work. I mean, um, the cable itself, which I have in my hand right here, is uh, pretty long. So your door could be pretty thick. I just don't know, you know, how well that would actually work. Now, this unit can be used in a couple of different ways. Um, you can actually use it for Wi-Fi, and if you're gonna use it for Wi-Fi, you're gonna need to buy this additional little part right here. This is the gateway, it's under $20 part, but you can use the Wi-Fi, or you can use it as a Bluetooth device. And it's really interesting. The unit itself is actually powered by four AA batteries, and if the batteries for some reason die, and you're on the outside of your house and you can't get in, right at the very bottom of the unit, you can actually plug in an external USB like battery charger things, you know, so things you charge your phone and your tablets and all that stuff. You can hook that into here, it'll get it up and going, and you can punch in your code and go. Now, the entire screen when this is actually plugged in and working, it actually is totally completely backlit so that you can see what's going on with it. And like I said, everything in the box comes to, to, so you can install it. You have to obviously have a screwdriver and you have to remove your other pieces and then install this. But beyond that, it's really not like a whole like super duper high thinking thing to do the job. If you can change a doorknob at your house, then you can install the Hugelog. That's, that's not a problem whatsoever. Um, but once you get it installed, you just download the Hugelog Connect app you can get this on Google Play, you can get it in the App Store for Apple. Um, it's available out there. Once you get that, you just connect your device to it and then you can go through the programming steps and punch in the number that you want you know, to lock in your code so that only you have it in your head. You might wanna write it down somewhere unless you've got a super you know, thinking brain, but I think if it's on your door code, you're gonna probably remember it. Now, not everybody's probably going to want to use the Wi-Fi option. You don't have to use the Wi-Fi option, but if you want to use the Wi-Fi option, it's pretty cool because if you're away from your house, if you have kids or something like that, you can let your kids into the house or you can completely know who is accessing the house totally through the Wi-Fi. And if you don't want to use the Wi-Fi, then hey, it's strictly Bluetooth and just, you know, go up with your phone and beep, 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 or tap the thing and voila, you're in. So this product's coming to market at about $100. I'll have a 30% coupon off down below. So if you guys are looking for a cool product like this, hey, I'll have the link down below so you can check out more information. Now, onto the video. So all right, let's start off here with the video. We all know that recently, it's been almost impossible to get your hands on any type of video card. But I have to say with this last 6700 launch from AMD, I did see a lot of comments in the comment sections saying that people were able to buy these cards. So more cards were obviously available because more people were commenting saying, hey, I got a card. Yeah, I did see the out of stock and it was out of stock pretty fast, obviously. Now. Concerning the out of stock stuff, we've all been pointing our fingers, I'm guilty, we're all guilty, we're like, hey, it's the guys who are doing crypto mining, oh no, it's the scalpers, it's this, it's that. Uh, I think that there may be some truth to that. I don't know how much that really accounts for everything overall, because let's just think about it. 
everybody's at home because of the pandemic. And PC gaming, like I said, is more popular than ever. PC gaming is just freaking huge. Even when I've tried to make videos and say, okay guys, it's like PC gaming, like, you know, is it fading? You guys are like, you got out of your mind, Elric. PC gaming is just getting bigger. One guy was like, I know 10 kids, they all want gaming PCs. Well, I think that's true. I think everybody would love to have a gaming PC if they could get their hands on one. That is true. It's very popular. But if you can't buy a video card, well, that's kind of more difficult. Now, some other things have been like said too. Like, I made a bunch of different videos about crypto mining. One video I said, hey, nobody will buy these cards. And my next video I said, hey, well, maybe they buy this card. Well, it seems like, I guess the end result of that particular thing is that uh, people who are doing crypto mining aren't interested in buying any kind of crypto mining uh, dedicated card. They want to buy gaming cards. And we all know why, because they want to resell those motherfuckers and get money back. Now, another thing has been floating around is people are like, oh, well, NVIDIA is just doing this and that with the cards. And I did think about this for a second. If crypto mining, any type of mining, BitChain, Bitcoin, yada, 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 Ethereum, whatever the heck it is. I mean, wouldn't it be smart for NVIDIA to have a shite ton of machines making that dough? I mean, if I was NVIDIA, well, I would, wouldn't you? I mean, at this point, after thinking about it, like, damn, you know, if NVIDIA doesn't have some of these machines running, they're fucking out of their mind. Why wouldn't they? If I was AMD and I was NVIDIA and I had access to cards and I could make money off doing mining, online mining, and making a bunch of money that could turn into millions in the future, they've got the investment, the power, and the cards. Hmm. Maybe they are both doing that. As far as blaming the scalpers and the, you know, the end user, you know, buying these cards up, I don't really know how much that's true. There may be some places that allow that, but I don't think it's a really good business practice. And like, um, it seems like a lot of people were able to score cards through Newegg this time through the raffle. So I think that's really cool to you guys who left the comments. Peace. Hey, thank you guys very much. And I'm glad you guys got a card. Rock on. Now you can do your gaming, right? But here's another thing. If you have a good video card, and you're lacking on other things in your computer or you've been really wanting a different case or just wanting to just upgrade or do something different with your PC, the time has never been better because prices on all kinds of things are just really, really low. I mean, you can get cases, power supplies, crazy different After Effects kind of, of stuff. There's a guy named Bill Owens out there. He makes all kinds of crazy aftermarket type stuff for putting on, on your computer. like. There's just, there's so much stuff right now that you can get for a good deal just to make your PC itself better. I mean, there just is. You can add more memory. You can add more hard drives. You could add some better fans, quieter fans. You could turn something from air to liquid. I mean, come on. You could go from a 550 to a 750 power supply because you're planning on getting more stuff. So, hey, why not? I mean, for those type of things, industries really hasn't been better in a long time. There are a lot of choices of products out there, really. I could really just sit here, if it was okay, I just don't think, I don't know, you guys can let me know. I mean, I could literally go online, go look at just a couple of different places and find all these deals and just make a video just off, there's so many parts that are there. I just think a lot of people sometimes might think that's cheesy and just say, oh man, well, you know, all you did was go out here and do this. But I mean, I guess there are people out there who would really prefer me to do the legwork. So I don't know, maybe I should do a video like that. Let me know if you'd like to see something like that because I can do it. Also, um, for you guys wondering like my health, um, I've gotten better or literally a lot better from my depression just as I've just completely just cleaned up my act and have started sleeping. But I'm passing a seven millimeter kidney stone right now and I have multiple broken ribs. Yeah. I broke my ribs and this just tells me that I'm getting too fat. That's the truth. I just need to lose some weight. I'm, got, I'm getting too chubby again. All this uh, sitting in front of the TV and eating for the COVID is starting to catch up. Um, I was lying weird in my bed and I sneezed because of dog hair. and. I broke some of my ribs. And yeah, it sounds like right from a cough. That's what I thought, but no. Yeah, you sneeze, cough real hard, you can actually break your ribs if you're in bed in a certain position. Found it's the truth, thought the doctor was crazy, but he's not. The seven millimeter kidney stone, can't pass that sucker. I'm gonna have to get surgery and it hurts like a mother. Yeah, 
a lot of pain. But hey, I'm trucking on. I'm feeling better mentally and everything. It's, it's, I'll admit it's a little bit still hard for me to jump in front of the camera and everything, but the more I do it, the more I'll get back on speed. I have so many reviews that I could do, and I have other friends of mine in their industry. I know they have tons of reviews that they can do, and for some reason, man, there's just been a lot of things that have happened that have just seemed to stall out the video process. You know what I mean? To get up here and do this stuff, you gotta be a certain mind, you gotta be very positive, you gotta wanna interact with your audience, and you know, it's not really that easy just to hop in front of a camera and do it, or everybody in the world would just be an actor, and there'd be no other jobs. You know what I mean? Not everybody's comfortable doing it. Luckily enough, most of the time, I am more, I'm comfortable to do it, so that's that. But, point of the video is, is that I don't really think, though, in that in the PC industry right now, no one's really, truly one person is at fault for not being able to get a hold of a video card. There's just so many people who want them, so many different places that are buying them, and only so much supply that can be made. Also, another thing, people are saying, hey, these guys just need to make more fabs and more fabs. Okay, well, say they make these more fabs, and they go out and they spend all this money and invest in these fabs, and the coronavirus ends, things go back to normal, the mining thing just kind of ends, and then video cards are just video cards again. The billions upon billions of dollars that AMD, TMSMC, whoever, you know, all these different places, Intel investing in these new, you know, fab plants, all that money could possibly turn around and just bite them completely in the butt. Now, the other side of the coin is population, as we know, is always growing. It's always growing, getting bigger. So if you really look at it from that point of view, then maybe making new fabs might be a good idea, you know, for future proofing. Because let's just face it, if Today's gamers are, we're just gonna throw a number out there, please don't quote me, I just wanna say 6.9 trillion people play games. Well, you know, in a few years, it's gonna be 10.7 trillion people playing games. So you need to make sure that in the future, you have the capacity to bring these products to market so that stuff just doesn't get really ridiculous. Let's just face it, man. This is not gold, these aren't diamonds, they're freaking video cards, man. I mean, they're video cards. Selling for two and three times the cost of the manufacturer's suggested retail price is absolutely nuts, and that's just that. But if you want to upgrade anything else in your system, anything else, go out and check out all the crazy stuff. I mean, there's stuff on Amazon. There's stuff on Newegg. There's stuff at random sites all over the place. There's even a lot of stuff that's over on eBay. There's just a lot of PC stuff that you can get for a great deal right now to totally upgrade, deck out, or trick out your PC. Throw in some RGB lighting, baby. Shine that sucker up. I don't know. Anyways, that's today's video. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm getting back in the game. I got real tech coming, I promise. Not just the talking head video. I am a talking head, a talking head. All right, and like I said, if you're interested in the old uh, Hugo Log right here, here we go, Hugo Log. At first, at first I thought it was Hugalot, the Hugalot product. It makes you happy and sleep better at night, which is kind of a good name, right? The Hugalot, it's like giving you a virtual hug with your lock on your door. I'll have a code down below, 30% off. So peace out, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like my style, even though I can't, I'm not gonna say this is like one of my best tech videos, this is kind of a, just a, me just throwing some random stuff out there, then hey, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you know I'm making videos. Also, if you wanna help keep the site around, I have a link down below for Amazon Prime. Try it free for 30 days. If you use my link, it gives me credit. It helps keep the site around. And if you got a single dollar, you can support me on Patreon. Peace, see you later, bye-bye.